Last night, we had Dakota Kai beating Ember Moon. I could be wrong about this, but I don't think there was any mention whatsoever of Shotzi and Knox going to the main roster. Maybe they mentioned or something like Shotzi, that. Shotzi, yes. I don't know about Knox. No, there was no like big angle. It was just uh, Ember Moon is now there as a single, and she got defeated by Dakota Kai. And then afterwards, Zaya Lee comes in, and Dakota thinks that Zaya's going to challenge her, but Zaya walks right past her, challenges Raquel Gonzalez, and uh, this, of course, made Kai upset. This is part of the build towards their breakup. But I guess we're going to get uh, Raquel Gonzalez and uh, Zaya Lee in a match for the title. Her contract was picked up by SmackDown. We had Cameron Grimes and L.A. Knight doing their first skit, where Cameron Grimes is now L.A. Knight's butler. And the story is that L.A. Knight is so delighted that he's got this new butler, and he's got him doing all of this stuff. But unfortunately for him, Cameron Grimes is rich, and he doesn't care. And so what he's basically doing is he's not selling any of it, which is making L.A. Knight very frustrated. He wants the guy to mow the lawn to humiliate him, and Cameron Grimes says, I love mowing the lawn! And he's out there mowing the lawn, and L.A. Knight's not getting what he bargained for here. We had Tyler Russ versus Bobby Fish. You know, they say, let's see how it plays out. But the storyline is that Bobby Fish wants a match with Roderick Strong. And so he's got to go through every member of the Diamond Mine. But because it's WWE, it looks like they're all going to beat him before we get this big match. He faced Tyler Rust and he was defeated. And now he still wants a match with uh, with uh, Roderick Strong. Then they beat him up afterwards and Kushida ran down to lead to a tag match. We had Sarai and Gigi Dolan. Bro, do not have a match with Sarai if you value your life. Sarai did this running, sliding drop kick that I'm not sure how Gigi Dolan's head is still connected to her body. It was like the most brutal running seated drop kick I think I ever saw in my life. Just killed her and then exploded her on top of the head and killed her. So that was the end of uh, Gigi Dolan. But a big win for Sarai. We had Santos Escobar beating Dexter Loomis with help from all of the other blokes. Dexter Loomis has got nothing going on right now except his romance, his budding romance with Indy Hartwell. So he gets beaten, and then they build up a match with Swerve Scott and uh, Escobar, I guess, for down the line for that title. And then Indy comes out, and she's going to carry Loomis to the back, but he's too heavy, so they fall into each other's arms, and she's about to kiss him, and Candice LeRae ruins it. Is there anybody, and I'm sure there are, but, like, I don't ever care. I don't need to see this kiss. But I think that's the idea. They want you to care about this creepy serial killer kissing this woman. That's her big angle. We had Duke Hudson and Ikimanjiro in a first round for the NXT breakout tournament. Yes, I agree with everybody that the wrong man won. Jiro should have won this match. But you know what? At the end of the day, I didn't mind this Duke Hudson. He's he's a tall guy. He's got a good physique. He is fine in the ring. I had no problem with it. So he moves on in this tournament here. We had Caden and Casey beating Jesse Kamea and Aaliyah, which led to Aaliyah turning on and beating up Robert Stone. She just beat the hell out of this guy. So she's apparently turned babyface. I'm sure there's more to talk about here, but it looks like Frankie Monet is now taking... Uh, Jesse Kamea under her wing, and perhaps Robert Stone as well. But I guess we'll find out. We had Adam Cole doing a promo to set up a feud with Bronson Reed. They took Bronson Reed, they took the title off of him, because I thought he was going to the main roster. Now he's starting a feud with Adam Cole. So I don't know what's going on here. And then in the main event, Karrion Cross and Johnny Gargano. Karrion Cross kills this dude. He just destroyed him. I felt like I literally felt bad for Johnny Gargano because he took such a violent beating like a power bomb, power bomb, power bomb, dropped on his head with a suplex, power bomb into the edge in the corner of the announce table. It's brutal. So he kills this guy and he wins. And then Samoa Joe and, and Cross have a stare down, and uh, Cross ends up attacking the guy from behind and choking him out. And uh, I think we're supposed to believe that uh, Samoa Joe is the babyface and Cross is the heel. And to be fair, Cross did attack the guy from behind. But if you watch this show, from like the beginning of the show to the end of the show, Joe was taunting this guy for two straight hours. He was doing everything in this power to beg this guy to attack him. And the guy finally did. 
And at the end of the day, I thought this cross is half babyface in this scenario right here. And like Joe's job is was I mean, when he first came here, he was supposed to be breaking up fights. How many fights do we see on the show that Joe didn't break up? Because now he's busy being a referee. So it wasn't a perfect show. But I thought there was good stuff on the show, as usual. There was a good, there was a bad, there was a confusing. Welcome to We Are NXT. What's going on, Vinny? Look who's in studio here today. It's me. We're doing a retro 2005 show here today. This mic that I'm using right now oh, no. is the same microphone that I used for IATA. I am wearing glasses because when the show started in 2005, I was wearing glasses and not contact lenses. Livid! Steaming mad! mad. Got the guitar behind me right here because uh, I hit you with the guitar in that picture we were looking at. I enjoyed it because I got to eat more hamburgers. Beak! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.